Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Praise Promises and Prime Minister J.A. We start today with um, a prayer to cover our time. Lord our Heavenly Father, thank you for this opportunity to read your word. Let it be written on the doorpost of our hearts, and we pray that you'll take us through this reading. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. <clears throat> Romans 8 and 37. We pick up Romans 8 and 27, continuing sufficiency. Continuing sufficiency, then we will look at a few scriptures around what Jesus says or promises us around fulfillment. And we will look at what Jesus says about being our everything. Jesus is our everything. Um, so continuing Romans 8 and 37 reads, Yet in all things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Romans 8, 37. Next we look at Ephesians 1 and 3. Ephesians 1 and 3. And it reads, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. Ephesians 1 verse 3. Next we go to John 15 and verse 7. John 15 verse 7 and it reads, If you abide in me and my word abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. John 15 and verse 7. John 15 verse 7. John 16, 23 and 24. And in that day you will ask me nothing. Most assuredly, I say to you, whatsoever you ask the Father, in my name he will give you. Until now, you have not asked nothing in my name. Ask, and you will receive, that your joy may be full. John 16, verse 23 and 24. Matthew 21, verse 22. And whatsoever thing you ask in prayer, believing, you will receive. Matthew 21 verse 22 what and whatsoever things you ask in prayer believing you will receive 2 Peter 1 verse 3 and 4 2 Peter 1 verse 3 and 4 as is divine power has given to us all things that pertains to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue, by which have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises, that through these you may be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Second Peter 1 verse 3 and 4. Next we go to Romans 8 and 32, Romans 8 and 32. He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all. Now, how, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Romans 8, 32. We'll read it again. He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? John fourteen thirteen And whatsoever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. John 14, verse 13. Psalms 103, verse 2 and 3. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeem your life from destruction, who crowns you with love and kindness and tender mercies. Next we continue with Jesus is our fulfillment. Jesus is our fulfillment. Matthew 5 verse 6. Matthew 5 and 6. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled Matthew 5 verse 6 Joel 2 and 26 Joel 2 26 
you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and raise the name of the Lord your God who has dealt wor wor wordedly with you wondrously with you and my people shall never be put to shame Joel 2 verse 26 read again you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God who has dealt word wor wordily with you and my people shall never be put to shame Psalms 37 verse 4 delight yourself also in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Psalms 107 verse 9 For he satisfied the longing soul and filled the hunger soul with, good, with goodness. Psalms 103 verse 5 Who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Psalms 103 verse 5 John 6 35 and Jesus said to them I am the bread of life he who comes to me shall never hunger and he who believes in me shall never thirst John 6 verse 35 Psalms 22 and verse 26 the poor shall eat and be satisfied those who seek him will praise the Lord let your heart live forever Psalms 22 verse 26 John 4 13 through 14 Jesus answered and said to her whoever drink of this water will this water will thirst again but whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst but the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life John 4 verse 13 and 14 next we look at Isaiah 58 verse 10 and 11 Isaiah 58 10 and 11 if you extend your soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul then your light shall draw then your light shall dawn in the darkness and the darkness shall be as the noonday the Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your soul in drought and strengthen your bones. You shall be like a watered garden and live a spring of water and like a spring of water whose water do not fail. Whose water does not fail. Isaiah 58 verse 10 and 11. If you extend your soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul, then your light shall dawn okay. in the darkness, and your darkness shall be as the noonday. The Lord will guide you continually <clears throat> and satisfy your soul in drought and strengthen your bones. You shall be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose water will not fail. Isaiah 58 verse 10 and 11. Joel 2 verse 19. The Lord will answer and say to his people, Behold, I will send, send you grain and new wine and oil, and you will be satisfied by them. I will no longer make you a reproach among the nations. Psalms 145, 15 and 16. Psalms 145, 15 and 16. The eyes of all look expectantly to you, and you will give them their food in due season. You open your hand and satisfy the desires of every living thing. Jeremiah 31 verse 14. Jeremiah 31 verse 14. I will satisfy the soul of the priest and with abundance. I will satisfy the soul of the priest with abundance. And my people shall be satisfied with my goodness, says the Lord. Jeremiah 31 14. I will, satis I will saturate the soul of the priest with abundance, and my people shall be satisfied with my goodness, says the Lord. Isaiah 55 verse 2 Why do you spend money for what is not bread, and your wages for what does not satisfy? 
Listen carefully to me and eat what is good and let your soul delight itself in abundance. Isaiah 55 verse 2. Psalm 63 verse 5 and 6. My soul shall be satisfied with marrow and fatness and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you on my bed, I meditate on you in the night watches. Psalm 63 verse 5 and 6. Romans 8.32 He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Continuing, Jesus is our everything. Looking at Philippians 4 verse 13, it, Philippians 4 verse 19, it reads, And my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Philippians 4.13 reads, I will do all things through Christ who strengthened me. 1 Corinthians 3.21-23 20 Therefore let no one boast in men, for all things are yours, whether Paul or Apollos or Sephras or the world or our life or death or things present or things to come all are yours and you are Christ and Christ is God's first Corinthians 3 21 to 23 Romans 8 and 37 yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loves us Psalm 68 verse 19 Blessed be the Lord, who daily loads us with benefits, the God of our salvation, Selah. John 16, 23 and 24. And in that day you will ask me nothing, but assuredly I say to you, whatsoever you ask the Father in my name, I will give you. Until now you have asked nothing in my name. Ask and you will receive, that your joy may be full. Ephesians 1 and 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. Ephesians 3, 20 through 21. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us, to him be glory in in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. 1 John 3, 22 And whatsoever we ask we receive from him because he keeps his commands and do these things that are pleasing in his sight. John 15, 7 If you abide in me and my word abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. Mark eleven twenty four. Therefore, I say to you, whatsoever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. 2 Corinthians five seventeen. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 8 And God is able to make all grace abound towards you, that you, always having all sufficiency in all things, may have an abundance for every good work. And that concludes the reading for today. May the Lord continue to bless His ministry.